Hello, welcome back to the Western Front of the Great Patriotic War. Last time we blunder away 15 AP points with a single mouse click. How many can we spend today? Well, we can only waste five, so uh, not that bad. It was only three quarters of the purchasing power of the only the entire Soviet Union to move a single AA regiment out of a port. Seems balanced, right? <laughs> I... In reality, I think an improvement to the game could be when you click the little X button next to the units attached, it should have a pop-up saying, are you okay with spending 15 APs on this activity? And then you would know, oh, this costs 15 before you click it, rather than after 15 disappear into the nether regions of uh i guess army and air force bureaucracy like i i understand what they're trying to simulate that the air force and the army couldn't easily exchange materiel but do they really need to be quite so harsh when you accidentally do it i don't know not not, not that i'm saying it it was an accident but theoretically if it had been an accident I think I would be really pissed. This one definitely was not an accident. I'm, I meant to click it, and I was a moron for doing so, but it was not an accident. So I, I cannot pretend that it was an accident. All right. What I'm going to do here is I'm going to destroy these two depots. I mean, it is really annoying that you can't save some of these guys or, or at least disband them. Because you're losing... Um, like, you're losing seven... You're losing three of the best AT guns in the army. This uh, 85mm KS-12 is very similar to, like, the German 88 in a lot of ways. It's very, it's got good stats against tanks. If, uh, if you look at it, it has really good stats. Um, let's see. So the 85, this thing, the 85 millimeter compared to our, just trying to, Find some similar weapons here. Where do they put their anti air? Well, let's just compare it to our um, forty five millimeter gun. So it does basically everything better. There's, there's nothing it does except for rate of fire that's worse. It has way more penetration, it, it, and it can kill air. I mean, it is just the best gun we have access to. So I wish I had a gazillion of these, and I don't. And I have less when I lose all these cities where you can't detach them. Now you can supposedly move them from one city to another. In the rules, it does say city to city movement is allowed. I just don't know how to do that. That maybe it's. So maybe if I were clicking on like Valeki Luki, and if I wanted to assign AA, oh, I would have to go to the city where I'm pulling it from. And that's how I could get it. And that only costs one AP to do. So that is probably worth it. That's that's probably what you should do. What you definitely shouldn't do is, is, is ever click the unassign button. So next to this, if you have 15 APs, there's a little X that shows up. And if you click that X, 15 of your APs zap out of existence and you get a single PVO, which is basically the, the Air Force's uh, anti-air battalion 
Now, if you did the same thing to a air battalion that was built by the army, you'd only lose 10 AP. So that's a lot cheaper. Um, and there's there's a bunch of other costs. There's there's five options for anti-air cost for reassignment. Why there's so many, I have no idea. Like, if it is to enforce the historical rules or something, I get it, but why even let you do it? Why not just disallow it from from being a possible move? I would much prefer that to being stuck with an undesirable result. I don't know. That's just me. All right. Let us let's figure out what we want to do here. I mean, what I want to do is to move further back, but... I think what I have to do is try to hold this river line, maybe. Just don't have enough divisions to do so. I guess I could put them here. That's not a terrible spot. Problem is, there's just no train line over here. That's not terrible. This guy's not very good. This guy's not very good either, so he's not worth even supplying all that much. 29th rifles. Okay, I guess you gotta move up here somewhere. Maybe here? Would that work? Ah, uh, but some of those went to him. Well, that's actually okay, because I can just reassign these guys to the 10th Rifle Corps. You think? Can I? Hmm. Or did this guy already move? Oh, he must have already moved. Shit. Uh, whoops. Let's just undo that move then. Leave the 29th Rifle Corps down here, and then we'll just uh, reassign this guy on the bottom of the stack here this guy we'll reassign him to something nearby like the 16th rifle corps again this guy's not great Let's tick this guy down to a 2. And let's make sure that the 12th is on a 4. And actually, let's let's tick this guy up. I think he is a pretty damn good commander, if I remember. Yeah. I mean, he's got 6 for infantry, which uh, we have very few 6s. He's not good on initiative or morale, but I think as long as he's reporting to a good army, he could be fine. Now... Do we have room to report him to a good army? Because, like, this guy is not bad. 
So if we give him to the 11th army, I feel like that might work. And then it might be worth it to assign him a howitzer or something. Probably not a BM howitzer, though. Shit. Uh... Playing with the locked stuff is a lot different than I was expecting. One of the assumptions that I've made so far is that um, it doesn't really... How many guns are left here? Only three. It's not worth even spending the money. If any of these places have a, have a fair amount of guns left, it might be worth moving them. It's so like this has eight. I think that would maybe be worth trying to save. Um, okay, so Erdesta, uh, what is that thing actually called? The 21st? Kind of want to give it to Pascov. Can't even sort. What is the sort? Uh, I guess it's sorted by range, maybe? It must be sorted by range. Okay. So it just does not that far away. Holy God, this is annoying. It's, I, I'm honestly about to throw up my head and say it's not even worth it. I want to do it because I've already committed this much time to it, though. Twenty first. There they are. Let's see how much all right, so that's how you get that's only one AP. That's the efficient way to do it. So now this guy's over here with his eight guns. Now one thing that we do want to do for sure is move in something stronger into Pascov itself. So I'm going to move these guys out. Move these guys up here. Should be fine. And then in Pascal proper, we are going to put this mechanized division. And maybe an airborne, maybe that airborne here, trooper. It's not really adding a lot of combat value, though. Like 0.43. So what do we have here total? I mean... 
guess I'll do it because it's the only thing I really have available. It's either that or tank division, which I don't really want to waste. But it would kind of guarantee that they wouldn't take it. So fuck it. Put it in there. And then can we put this on reserve? Yes. Everyone on reserve that we can in the nearby area. Uh, we're going to have to do some fighting. Because this is not a very strong tile in front. That's my main concern. Well, not main, but one of my concerns. One of my many concerns. All right, can we give him to spread out the wealth a little bit? We'll just give these to all the nearby generals. Even though they're all kind of dog. Oh, man, this region is just not looking hot. All right. What do we have further back? Anything? Nothing. Well, we do have these guys. Slowly making their way up. They're going to be tired when they get there. Just marching for like a month straight. Poor guys. Why is this thing overstacked? You're going to want to take something else. Let's see. What's a place that probably has relatively... So the 248th, what's left in that? Only three. It's not worth it. I don't have nothing. I don't have anything. Jeez, they have a lot of those AA battalions. Damn. All right, so now to make a big decision. Do we want to pull back our lines to the next river, or do we want to try to fight it out here? I'm of a mind to just retreat. Because for one thing, it's a shorter line. Um, I think it gives us a lot of advantages doing it that way. It's a little shittier in terms of resupply, but... I don't know. It's a tough call. Or do I just let him hit us?
really do not want to just let him hit us. But I also really don't want to fight. Really tough call. But heck. Alright, so we know that... Don't really want to get these airborne divisions involved in anything right now. If I can avoid it. Because they could conceivably be useful at some point. Assuming they survive. Which, would, which is looking like a big if at this point. Just want to get this thing off the map. Same with the tank division. All right, let's see if we can get you off the map. Hell yeah. Set this on refit. Set this guy to very high because he's got a, a lot of stuff that's under, under low supply. Let's get the 13th army further, further up. Maybe just in case I should send that to the reserve. I don't know. What do I have here? Feeling kind of nervous about those two. guy's got nothing under him so he might come in handy I'll hold on for him for a second in case we find out that our organization here is really messed up so you go back to the 51st rifles could we put all the 51st rifles underneath western front don't think so. I think it costs too much money. By money, I mean commands, points. Can 
Can he be put on reserve? No, only refit. So let's reserve both of these guys back here then. Hopefully they'll be safe. Okay, so the 53rd Rifle Corps is going to be like our last Desperate Defense Division here. Reserve him. We'll stick him right here. Who could we give him to? Seventh Mechanized Corps. That would work. Sixteenth Army is low on supplies somehow. But he's got nothing under him. So I could give a I could give a crap. So let's get him further back just so he doesn't distract us here. Oh, so this thirty second rifle is going to the sixteenth army. We haven't gone to someone else. Oh, 13th Army. don't know why I left that guy way up there. But let's bring him down. So let's bring him here. We're going to try to entrench here. To the best of our abilities. We will stick everyone here on reserve. So maybe they'll commit a little bit of their action if we get a breakthrough or something like that. And then uh, let's bump up your priority to high. Because these guys are pretty damn low supplies. You're at two. Everyone under you has not bad supplies. You're three, but you're not that important right now. Okay, so this guy's got some stuff under him. Don't think that's in range there. Let me check. No. What would be in range? Just this? Okay, that can work. But, and all these guys can be on reserve. Why is there... All right, so the 52nd Rifle Corps.
where could I move him that he'd be safe and useful? Could move into these woods, but it's going to be a pain to get supply in there. But we could use the reinforcements in the northwestern front. Or, alternatively, we could we could bring in reinforcements themselves to the northwestern front and then move these guys down here. Or we could just have them be backups for when this line gets smashed. E. Yeah, I think the defense in depth strategy has to be the one that we use. Because our options are pretty limited. Right, so you can go here. And then you go there. I'll just stick you on reserve. Stick everyone on reserve, actually. Just on the off chance that they get committed. Very rare, but there is a chance. Personally, I would love to be able to give them to the Western Front, but... Just for organizational reasons. I mean, I actually don't mind where those guys are, but... Don't love it either. All right, let's start marching everyone back here. This thing, let's try to get it off the map if we can. Can we? Yes. Anything else that needs to come off the map? Yes. I guess let's just move all these up here. kind of useless to me right now anyways okay we're getting there we're getting there first few turns are painful uh, let's bump this guy up to a three just because he's got a full relatively full division core sorry um Shit, these guys are never going to be good again. Might as well disband them, to be honest. Can't even transfer them. Shit. All right, we're, we're almost to the southern front. Or southwestern and then southern. Not going to do anything with the pocket. I think the shape is fine, the way it is. I mean, maybe we could stick these guys in heavy woods instead of light woods. It'd make a huge difference, though. They're just going to get collapsed on anyways. But, yeah, give them a fighting chance. Why not?
All right, moved them around a little bit just to change the, the formation. Don't know if it'll, that probably won't have any meaningful impact in the combat values, but. Uh, God, I still, still very scared about this. It is a very shallow line. Like they're just going to blow right through this and. Uh, I don't know. It's great and all that uh, I could potentially throw up a fight here. But. Uh, I don't know. I just don't think it'll make a huge difference. Huge slowdown for them. So that guy's construction value is five. This guy's a seven. And where that plays in is in the four levels. So these are still still a zero here. This one's a one. This guy must have a lot of engineers in his division. Like you can see we were able to get a couple of them up to ones. But not enough. So like there's there's very little defense here. That's our biggest problem probably. Kind of got to save these last few APs for potential use in the south, but I would love to go back up and fortify something. All right, let's try to grind through the rest of this. Ooh, just stuff in the pocket. So I don't really care about him. Go over here. Um, let's see. Security guys are so useless. I'm not sure where I want to send them, but. I mean, they're only really used to scouting. I don't really have the ability to do any scouting right now. It's like this one might be worth trying to save. Because it does have eight, eight of these. Hmm. Which is the full complement, actually. So maybe I will move that to Kiev. Cavell. Cavell, 87th. Okay. I feel like that's a good decision. Disband the depot, though. And they have nothing there, which is great. So we're not going to lose anything from losing that. That's the idea. You want to take stuff out before the Nazis show up. Because, you know, if they take it, it's just land. We've got plenty of land. That is not something that the Soviet Union lacks. What we lack is material and men right now. Okay, 
So the fifth army's location is going to be pretty important because I think next turn his subcommanders get deleted. So we want him pretty close to everything. If possible. This tank brigade... Uh, they cannot move very far now, can they? This guy can, and I... I want to get them off the map, actually. My overall strategy with my tanks this time around is to get more of them off the map early so that I could potentially bring them back in when they're really, really desperately needed. Uh, rather than fight them till, till their deaths, they're at death's door, you know. Get them off the map. Get them refreshed. And I hope that kind of thing pays off, but... All right, we've got a lot of moving to do in the south. Hopefully we can get through it. So I'm not tempted to defend it. I just don't want to. So what kind of shape do we want here? I would kind of like the front line to go through down like this. A lot of clear terrain here, though. A lot of clear. So I need my tanks for this area. So I think... I think it might be best to start preparing the river defense here. Just try to get one division per tile. Yeah, keep it simple. Don't do, don't don't be fancy about this one. Just keep it simple. Have some rifle core back there just to hold the line. I don't think we need to be fancy about this.
definitely one of these places that's hard to accept that you need to, you know, make such massive sacrifices on. But in this case, I think it's, I think it's the right thing to do. I just try to try to fix things when they get further back. All right. Unfortunately, these lads have some walking ahead of them. I'd like to put a little stack on the rough terrain there. Put a cavalry division there. Okay, so now what we want to do is try to snack, stack our strongest divisions right on these two tiles here. Because we want to force them north if we can. If we force them north, that is the, the best possible outcome. So we want to put our tanks up front, whatever we have around here. And that rough terrain. Try to make use of that. There you go. 
Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. One last, one last guy on there. Another tank division. Put two tank divisions on the same tile. Just stack that, stack that block up. And we'll even put his commander right on the front lines. I don't know what that does, but maybe it'll do something. We'll give this guy some some support too. Okay, so the southwestern front has a good amount of crap that we can steal. So let's give him some howitzers. Um, I don't even know what those are. I'd like a. That's that's fine. Just two of those. All right. Oh, so this guy goes to the eighth motorized core. Mechanized core. Is the eighth mechanized core any better? Not really. I don't see a reason why you can't go to the twenty fourth as well. And then the twenty fourth needs to go to an army. We gotta find an army for him to go to. Army, oh army, where are you? Yoo hoo. 26 army. How are you? Pretty, pretty stupid. Sixth army. Not that sixth army. The good sixth. Oh, man, this guy's good. Let's use him. All right, let's give him to the sixth army then. Where are they? You. You now report to the big man himself. Vatulin, Vatutin, Vatutin. Sounds like Rasputin, except this guy actually knows how to use tanks. Imagine that. A tank commander, we better keep him safe. Uh, he is a little overstacked, though, but this guy, you don't need to go to a commander anymore. Honestly, you don't need to go anyone anymore because you're going to have nothing. Get into the Kharkov military district. For all I care. He does have a unit under him, but that's that could be remedied. It's not even a ready unit. Just giving us 37 rifle core. How badly overstacked are we now? 145. Jesus. I mean, we made efforts last time to kind of start to fix that. But uh, didn't make it too far. I mean, the more stuff we can take off the map down here, the better. Because you get a lot of really weak, useless garbage that we don't need on the map. All right. Still trying to set up a strong defensive line down here. I want to put this behind it. And I really, I really want to try to get him to go north. I don't think he will, but I want him to. So I'm going to deploy my forces in a way such that 
He has to go north if he wants to succeed. That's my plan here. And I'm sticking to it. This is such a weak division. That's better. So I want him to look at that and go, uh-uh, not going to touch that with a 50 million foot pole. And then hopefully he'll fuck right off up to the north. Can I reach both of them from there? Yes. Beautiful. Who else is going to the 6th Army that doesn't need to? This thing, does this thing really need to go direct to the 6th Army? I don't think so. Go to some, give him the cavalry. All right, how strong are these tanks? Pretty strong, actually. They will be our next line of defense. I think that looks really, really good. It's going to be a tougher nut to crack than some previous attempts that I've done at this setup. For me, that's the important thing. Make it tough, make him have to go north. And then leave him places where he can go north. Just trying to shuffle some of these guys down a little bit. He's one tile closer, so he's in range. All right. I like the look of that. Don't like the look of this. Southern front looks disgusting. Uh... I would like to just get you off the map, preferably. I guess same with you. Definitely same with you. 
you might come in handy at some point later. Let us retreat you to the Dnieper. Or begin the retreat to the Dnieper. Oops, accidentally split those guys up. Oh well, one of them's unready anyways, and he's never going to be ready, so. Is that heavy woods? Oh no, light woods. Sad. Start driving him as far the hell away as possible because I would rather preserve some of these tanks rather than just throwing them away needlessly. Because personally, like I know, yeah, Odessa's a nice city and everything, but I, I don't know. I don't, I don't. I don't see a ton of strategic value in it for us. Wonder what has better stats defensively, a fairy tile or a clear tile? I feel like a fairy tile might have better defensive stats. Just because it's an extra movement point to move into it. So to me, that's that's saying that it's a better defensive location, just based on the game logic. All right, where can we move you? How about here? All right, this guy is going to go to a new boss, I think. Second mechanized. just because he hasn't moved yet. Yeah, that's nice. Get you the hell out of there. And all of our mechanized guys, they get very high. All right. But we're alt we're going to be moving them back towards the Dnieper kind of ASAP. Barely even going to defend this Ukraine because it's completely indefensible in this area. So we're going to move these guys towards the ferry area. Wish this guy could move it a little bit further. It's kind of a bit of a pain in the ass that you have to leave him there. Disband depot. Alright, we still have three APs left. Gonna disband this depot as well. And the ninth army. Does he have any direct units? He does have this rifle division. So we'll have to move him over to this coastal division. 
sorry, coastal core. And then we can move this up towards the deeper where they're eventually going to be. Okay, that's pretty good. All right, I think we're done with the turn. Made it all the way down. We, just, we got everything out of this northern pocket, which is... Really cool. Can we even disband this? Yes, we can. Oh my God, so good. Disband depot. We'll even take the 29, what, what's in this? Three? Just out of spite, I kind of want to take it. Just so it gets nothing, you know? It's like a big F you. Now, we do have some significant problems still. Um, some really bad problems. Put you on reserve. Put you on reserve. Put you on reserve. Everybody gets on reserve. The bad problems are that this thing is going to get absolutely wrecked. And there's not much more I can do about it. Oh my god, I didn't put this on, on very high. Alright. Oh, hello. Would you like to join the war? Yeah, they could start driving up. We already marched those guys. How about you? Would you like to join the war? You got 9,000 men now. There's nothing to sneeze at. Just making sure nothing is hidden around here, as sometimes they are. Now I imagine what's going to happen here is he's going to take this this thing these divisions here and just try to blast right through but I think he'll probably be distracted and try to take Odessa because that is kind of the, the purpose of Army Group Antonescu and so Army Group South the way he's positioned it almost looks like he's going to He's going to attack forward and then swing around, which is what I would do. But I'm hoping that I can shift enough stuff up there to kind of connect these two lines before things get too bad. But it'll probably be on, on these tiles back here. And so that's where we shall leave it. Um, we will save one more midterm. 
just in case something goes wrong when we click end turn. And then I will click end turn and send it off. Uh, we do have three more APs that we could spend on random stuff, I guess. I did build earlier in the turn, I built a bunch of MG battalions because they have a good amount of AT guns in them, actually. 18. Uh, so we could use those. Um, I'm also very tempted to build some of these, but they don't have great guns. Uh, yeah, this thing's kind of trash. So not super hyped about them. Could build some howitzers. Howitzers are always useful. Um, could build some mortars. Mortars are good. Be very good in the south. Under twenty-two millimeter mortars. Um, but what I really need is anti-tanks. So I'm tempted to just build some more of them. So let's just build three more of those. And then as for our call-ins on the commander's report, we will check out what options we have. So I'm going to go Soviets, clear ground elements, units, whoops. And now we want to do just reserves, please. We're going to filter this down to just be our Soviet reserves. And then we're further going to filter by TOE from 90 to 100, 125, whatever. And we're going to send, let's see, I would say we're going to send stuff in. Am I restricted from transferring still or something like that? Maybe I can't transfer that type of unit. Maybe I'll give these to the northern front. All right, rifle divisions. We want to take off the northern front. We only want blanks. Honestly, I want about half of these. So is there a way I could turn this down so that there's only half? None that I see. So you know what? Screw it. We'll just transform all the map. We'll find a place for them. Artillery. We'll transfer that all to the map. AT. Just for that, all to the map. Hey, hey, we have none. Mortar, I think we have one, yes. Get that on the map. MG, none. 
Security division. Whatever. They can stay there. I guess maybe they just came off the map? Question mark? Not sure. Let's see if I can send them to the northern front. No. They must have just come off the map last turn or something. I think there's a turn delay, a one turn delay. Okay, and now let's set the point to where they're going to come in. I'm thinking to bring them in in this area here. But maybe it's better to bring him in over here. It's a lot of infantry. My other playthrough, I brought him into the northern front. I am kind of tempted to bring them in there again. but I also know how important this region is. The problem is bringing them in, it takes a little while to, to uh, supply them. So in the, the time it takes to supply them, they need to be a little bit further back. Now this thing, if we set this to a three, let's do it. I know I have armies somewhere. Third army. You're going to be going back there relatively soon. Who else do I have nearby? This motorized core. Hmm. <laughs> Yeah, what the hell, we'll send them down there as well. We'll send them out a little bit to the, the southeast of it. When does this guy come unlocked? Does it ever say? Jeez, he has a lot of air units attached to him. Whatever. All right. Now we're done. We've spent everything. We've moved every bloody piece on the map. Well, except for these guys. Let's move them, now that they're unlocked. Jeez, those kind of open tiles. That's a little bit obnoxious, isn't it? I don't have any more APs to spend, so they're not going to be able to uh, 
So that's going to be an import port. Set it to a two. Bring in a little bit of supply. We're probably going to need to deploy a whole bunch of units eventually to the defense of Crimea because that's a really nice place to defend. But not yet. First priority was shoring up the southern front. All right. I'm pretty happy with all this. We'll see. It's a, it's a different strategy that I'm trying against the AI. That's for sure. I'm definitely putting more emphasis on Ukraine. Kind of like the real Russians. Um, but I'm hoping that it pays off in that the Dnieper could become a much more difficult challenge than I think it will be for the AI. So that's that's basically my hope. Like you can see the intent where I'm, I'm trying to force them this way into the the bulge in the Dnieper where it bulges to the east. I want them to to get sucked east farther and farther from Germany. Make their supply lines long. Um so that that's my overall strategy. And they're incentivized to move fast because they want to convert the rails. They want to get that going as soon as they can. Um, but I'm hoping what will happen is they'll get here. They won't have converted the rails yet. And I can bring in a, some of my tanks and stuff from the reserves and push down from the south or from the north really hard and cut off units into here. I don't think he'll leave himself open to that, but that would be an amazing moment if we could get that to happen. Alternatively, what I want is to have him kind of slowly get forced up into Pripyat and, you know, kind of defend the Chernobyl Kiev line, uh, like defend the Dnieper here really to the best of my abilities. Don't anytime he comes over, it's like try to force him back. I know it's going to be expensive, but that's my, my concept. Now, I realize none of that's eventually... Eventually, he is going to pass the Dnieper. He is going to get through. Uh, but I'm hoping that this kind of uh, you know defense in depth strategy pays off a little bit better than the just line everyone up in a really strong positions strategy that I'm using the other another campaign so we'll see until next time um hope to see you back on the western front of the great patriotic war